Good morning. Welcome to the sixth annual Wine Jobs Summit. Since we got together last year, the world has been turned upside down by COVID. Yesterday, we got some welcome good news about a possible vaccine. But for now, we have to live with the restrictions put in place to fight the virus. And so this means for the first time, we're holding Summit as a virtual conference. The bad part about that is that we can't get together face to face. I know many of us have been coming to the to Summit since it started six years ago, and we look forward to getting together. Hopefully we'll be able to meet face to face next year. But the good news about holding Summit as a virtual conference is it makes it more easily accessible to people outside of Napa and Sonoma. I'm happy to say that this year, we have people joining us from wineries across the United States, and I'd like to extend a special welcome to them. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsors. The support of these folks helps make Summit possible. And I'd also like to thank our advisory board. These folks have helped choose the topics that we're gonna to cover today, and they've also helped us find the speakers. And we appreciate all the hard work they've done for the 2020 Summit. Now, each year at the beginning of Summit, we cover the hiring trends that we're seeing on our Wine Jobs website. Because wine jobs is so widely used in the industry, the trends on wine jobs give us a good indication of what's going on throughout the whole wine industry. So what are the trends on wine jobs telling us about hiring in the wine industry in 2020? Well, 2020 is a year like no other, right? So <laughs> we really have to look at 2020 as two periods, the pre-COVID period, and the period after COVID arrived here in the United States. So the pre-COVID period, unemployment was around 3%, a very tight labor market, and that made recruiting challenging. And for folks in Napa and Sonoma, that was complicated by a lack of housing availability. And this tight labor market was the result of sustained growth in posting of jobs by wineries over the last number of years. This chart shows the number of the growth in the number of jobs posted by wineries from 2012 through 2019. And what you can see is in the years after the Great Recession, so 2012 through 2015, we saw double digit growth in the number of jobs posted by wineries. Now, since 2015, we've still seen decent growth. It's just a little bit slower. So you can see that the growth rate has gone below 10%, but it's averaged about seven or eight percent. So again, decent growth. And all these years of growth in job postings has had created a very tight labor market pre-COVID. So what does 2020 look like? Well, the number of jobs posted in 2020, so far this year, by wineries has declined 37%. Ouch. Now, as you might guess, most of that decline has occurred since COVID arrived in the United States. The next slide shows postings of jobs by wineries in 2019 and 2020. As you can see in the first couple of months of the year, January and February, postings were about the same in 2020 as they were in 2019. And then in mid-March, shelter in place restrictions went into place. And so in April, the first month where, first full month that we had shelter in place in effect, the number of jobs posted by wineries in 2020 
was 71% less than what we'd seen in 2019. COVID had an immediate and severe impact on job postings by wineries. And then as we got to late May and early June, the shelter in place restrictions were loosened and we saw an increase in hiring. And you can see that in June, the number of jobs posted by wineries was only 20% less than what it had been last year. And then in July, COVID cases started to rise again. And in late July, shelter in place restrictions went back in, in place. And so where we are now is in October, job postings by wineries were 45% less than they were last year. COVID has clearly had, and the restrictions from COVID have clearly had an impact on job postings by wineries. But it has not been equal across all job categories. This slide shows the decline in job postings by wineries for several different job categories. Not surprisingly, the category most impacted by COVID has been DTC and tasting room jobs. DT DTC and tasting room jobs posted in 2020 were 50% less than they were in 2019. So the COVID environment that we are now living in is one of high unemployment. And could you move to the next slide, please? and an unsettled labor market. So unemployment is at 10%. Uh, that's as high as it's been since the Great Recession. Um, we have an unstable, unsettled labor market for a couple of reasons. One is we have uncertainty around what the economy is gonna look like in 2021. And also there's uncertainty about whether there'll be more government assistance to people who've been laid off uh, due to COVID. The, the Congress passed a pretty uh, generous package early in COVID, um, but that for the most part has expired. And while Congress has talked about passing something uh, in the future, nothing has happened. And so that's creating uncertainty, obviously. And the lack of housing is still complicating life for folks in Napa and Sonoma. So despite the fact that we have high unemployment, we still have a challenging recruiting environment. So what the trends are showing us so far is that the COVID restrictions put in place to fight COVID have had a big impact on hiring in the wine industry. Uh, and that's consistent with what we're seeing across the United States. As I said, we're seeing unemployment rates as high as they've been since the Great Recession. And despite the high unemployment, recruiting remains a challenge. But happily, we have a session later today that's going to share ideas on how, on how to improve your recruiting in this COVID environment. And that's just one of the great sessions we have today. Um, to introduce our first session, I'd like to introduce the managing editor of Wine Business Monthly, Aaron Kirschman. <laughs> 